Normally when I cover an individual instance of crime, when I highlight it on this particular channel, that is usually because that particular crime has a broader policy failure behind it, somebody being released early to a bail reform, or somebody being not charged, or something like that, that ends up leading to this additional crime, and the reason I do that is because when the issue is a policy failure, we can change policy in order to address it. So it's like, hey, look at this, we could have fixed this, we could have prevented this, Let's not let that happen again in the future. However, whenever there's a crime that's so absurd, like the two guys that staged an armed robbery, which was so funny that I had to cover it on this channel, I like to make an exception to that rule. And today, we have another exception. We have a criminal who stole $450 from Girl Scouts selling cookies in front of Walmart, an American institution, that being the Girl Scouts, and Walmart, I guess. I mean, there are a ton of Walmarts in this country, and it's just so absurd and ridiculous that that we got to talk about it i mean the video it's it's outrageous we, we, we're gonna look at it but before we do this video is sponsored so quick ad read then we come back over here and talk about it on the other side america's enemies are making moves to try to displace the u.s dollar as the world reserve currency this is all being accelerated by the fact that there are conflicts that have broken out in israel ukraine and in yemen and our national debt is surging now at 33 trillion dollars which has gold at the price of $2,100. Back when the national debt was $23 trillion, gold was $1,500. So there appears to be some correlation between the two. This is why so many Americans are diversifying their portfolio, hedging against inflation by adding precious metals to it. And if you go to National Gold Group, you can get a free consultation and investor's guide on how you can do the same. All you have to do is call them at 866-826-8603 and you can get your consultation with world-class American-based customer service. Again, that number is 866-826-2603. It's always a risk with any investment and past performance is not necessarily a guarantee of future results. Fort Worth police need your help finding a young man who stole from a Girl Scout. Yeah, video from the Walmart Supercenter near White Settlement Road in Loop 820 shows the crime happening. A young man in a hoodie swiping a bag carrying money earned by selling cookies. So as you can see on the surveillance video, this young man, he walks out of the store, spots the Girl Scouts. It was probably pre-planned, at least to a certain extent. He runs up, grabs the bag, takes off, and these people have no idea what just hit him. They have no idea what just happened because this crime is so outrageous and ridiculous. You're going to steal from a bunch of 10 to 11 year olds in Girl Scout uniforms while they're raising money for whatever trip or whatever activity that they're are actually doing and you're going to do it in such a brazen way no way not into it i'm 100 percent against it i don't care if somebody's going to say that that's an innocent angel aladdin he just committed a thuggish brutish crime and he deserves some significant consequences for it he deserves to be named and shamed his family because he looks like a young man also deserve to be named and shamed because they did not raise this kid right his mother did not do a good job she is not a hero not a superstar and that is reflected in the way that he treats little girls shameful honestly police hope somebody out there will recognize him now when i first saw this particular story i actually saw people criticizing the new york post because they did not describe it the race of the suspect they were very put off by this they thought that the new york post was selling people down the river but the thing is i often go to the new york post and to the daily mail when it comes to situations like this because they're tabloids they don't have the same standard as other outlets, and they're often to name even juvenile offenders on the pages of their reports. On top of that, the same exact article that they're saying didn't have a description of the race of the suspect had a picture of his face, this particular picture. And in my opinion, people are kind of stretching and bending in this particular situation to throw shade at the post when you're seeing his face on video, and that's a good thing, and that is better than just hearing that it's a black male. You guys can all see for yourself that it's a black male. So even though I would normally comment on this where it's true, I think in this particular instance is overstated. Now, in the Kansas City situation, where they were saying they weren't going to release the names of the juvenile vendors, and then we find out that two of the names are of people that are age 18 and 23, then you actually have something. Then we're actually having a conversation. And by the way, there were additional people that were detained at the scene that could still be minors. They would still be named if they were not black 
blackmails, that is a solid point to be made in that situation. But in this one right here, if you have the image of the guy, that's better than an actual description of him because you could see him for yourself. Heather, we may disagree on what our favorite Girl Scout cookies are, but chances are you've seen them outside of grocery stores. The local news is so goofy. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the local news. They give me insight into stories that would never get national media coverage and allow me to do my job better and bring those stories to you. But did we really need the guy to hold up a box of cookies and be like, oh, so, so we got to argue over our favorite cookies. Haha. <laughs> Isn't this so funny? These girls are traumatized because they got robbed by some thug. But uh, yeah, well, let's think about our cookies. It, it's just goofiness of the local news. I, I really, I really appreciate it. But at the same time, maybe a little bit inappropriate right here. I, I'm just saying. But we're talking about a little girl here. A little girl that was trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. This video captured by a Fort Worth Walmart surveillance camera shows a man take off with money from a Girl Scout cookie sale. The Girl Scout and her mother visibly in shock when it happened. So yeah, you could tell 100% that they're in shock. They barely move in response to this guy grabbing the stuff and running away. It takes them a minute to process what happens because they're thinking to themselves, who would steal from the Girl Scouts? What person in their right mind would do something like this? And it turns out it's this person. He is pictured right here. Get a good look at his face and turn this guy in. I want him to face some serious consequences for this. But yeah, it's just, it's so ridiculous. You know, we have a phrase for doing something that's incredibly easy that sometimes you shouldn't do. We say it's like taking candy from a baby. Well, this guy robbed Girl Scouts. That That's how pathetic this individual is. From a Girl Scout cookie sale. The Girl Scout and her mother visibly in shock when it happened. So not only are these people in shock, they barely move, they barely react, but almost everyone that is in the vicinity does not process what actually happened, even though you have somebody who grabs something off this cart and takes off running into the parking lot. You see these people just walking casually, and it takes a minute for anyone to come from behind the counter in order to look at what's going on, track this guy down, call the police, all of that. And thankfully, this was at a Walmart Super Center. Thankfully, there was surveillance there, so we have an image of this person, so it's likely because of the attention that this kid will get caught. If it is a kid, it could be a young man, it could be an adult, who knows? But yeah, it's it's absurd to see this happen in broad daylight in the afternoon, it, it, but you know, that's how brazen these criminals have become. The incident happened last Sunday, February 11th, in the middle of the afternoon at the Walmart Super Center near 820 and White Settlement Road. A young man swiping the bag with money in it from a cart behind the table where the Girl Scout was selling her cookies. This is right outside the exit. Multiple other shoppers seen walking out and standing around. Fort Worth police released a close-up picture of his face. It is clear easy for people who know him to recognize him and again to everyone out there who's saying look they're not describing this person if you show this clear-cut image of this person if you say people who know him can recognize him from this and you display it multiple times or display it in your article that's good enough we got to not manufacture more leftist bias in the media than actually exists because that's going to make us look ridiculous and over the top if you have the image of the guy show the image and there are plenty of other instances plenty Plenty of other crimes where they refuse to describe the suspect, refuse to show the images even when they have them, and those should be called out. And believe me, I've done that before. The dog napping situation where Philip DeFranco refused to describe the suspect, instead described the vehicle, and then concluded after not releasing the available information that he hoped that there would be enough identifiable information out there to get the person, despite the fact that he was withholding it. That's something worthy of being called out. But again, if you're showing the face of the person, you don't need to say, that's the black guy right there. If in case you didn't know, it's a black guy. Can you tell? He's a black. black. Third grader Brooke Martinez is in a different Girl Scout troop. We caught up with her and her family selling cookies at a bowling alley in Fort Worth Monday. Her grandmother, Kathy Taylor, was emotional after she saw the video. It almost made me cry. <laughs> because it's hard work. They work long for this. At first I was like, why are they showing me this other Girl Scout who has nothing to do with anything and this grandma? And then the grandma hits me hard with that she cried because these little girls work so hard on this. And again, the Girl Scouts has been an institution for so long that it is entirely possible that the grandmother would have been in the Girl Scouts as well and they've been selling cookies for such a long time. But you're trying to get me in the feels by having this old lady cry. How dare you local news? It totally worked. 
and honestly, shame on this guy. Here's his face. Go arrest him. This is her granddaughter's third year selling cookies. She keeps the money they make hidden, and she says it's easy for people to let their guard down. It's just that you trust everyone. Girl Scouts trust everyone, and Girl Scouts are honest, and they think everybody is. But it's a hard lesson learned. Again, the grandma bringing the fire, the grandma bringing the heat right here, even though she's delivering it in a very calm voice, because the impact that this has is beyond the $450. Obviously, there's video. The Girl Scouts will probably reimburse her for that. They won't hold it against her. The police are going to investigate. The community might rally around this girl in order to support her because this is such a brazen crime. But the thing is, what was also stolen along with that amount of money is that child's innocence, that child's sense of security, because she just learned the harsh lesson that there are dangerous people out there, and she's probably been told this because parents tell their kids this all the time, and now you just have to be on guard. If something traumatic like this can happen, it's absurd, and by the way, it could get so much worse. And for those of you who are like, oh, well, it's a non-violent crime, no big deal, you just said that people will probably make up the difference for her, so it's whatever, just think about the kind of mindset that you have to operate on that you would rob a little girl with her mother you think that this isn't going to escalate you think that this isn't going to become a pattern of behavior if it isn't already a pattern of behavior imagine he gets some resistance from the little girl or the mother that's trying to fight back against him imagine he wants that money more than he cares about their physical safety and he tries attacking them this is bad behavior that you need to nip in the bud this is something that you got to punish severely to send a message to people that we're not going to let you victimize vulnerable populations we're not going to hear about your sad sack life how you're actually an innocent aladdin when you do over the top thuggish crap like this so yeah there needs to be some severe consequences this guy should be made an example of i don't care how old he is he was clearly and obviously old enough to commit this robbery so we need some consequences for those actions but hey those are just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, then show them by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on my social media, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about Girl Scouts getting robbed. Yes, that's where we're at in this country. Till next time.